Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of NetworkFromHome.com. In today's episode, we'll be looking at your modem and specifically the firmware version that's installed on your modem. This is important when you're updating or when you're checking to see if your modem has been updated. Now your modem will receive updates from your internet service provider or your ISP. So you don't have to do any updating yourself. There are no manual steps that you need to take to upgrade your, your modems firmware. I almost said router there because this is the opposite of what it's like for your router where you need to go into your router settings and you need to manually update your router whenever a new firmware is released. So with your modem, you'd think it'd be a lot easier. There's no action taken every time a new version of firmware is released, but it's important to double check and make sure that your internet service provider is pushing out the most recent firmware updates to your modem. And that's what we're going to talk about here today. And if you want more information or a step-by-step -step procedure, you can check out the blog post that I linked to below. This video will be featured in the blog post and the blog post itself goes into a little bit more detail and gives a little more explanation on why we need to do these things. So first things first, let's see what version of firmware I have installed on my modem. I have a Netgear CM600 modem, so my steps might be different than yours if you have a different maker model. But the first step, and this will be universal no matter what modem you have, is you need to log into your modem settings. So first, let's open an internet browser page and we can navigate to our modem. Okay, so we have our internet browser page open. What, what we need to do now is we need to enter the IP address of our modem. And if you don't know the IP address of your modem off the top of your head, there is most likely a sticker on the device that shows you what the IP address is. So for me, it is http one. And this will take me to my modem login page. As you can see here, I'm prompted for my username and password, so I will do that now. Okay, now I'm all logged into my modem. And you can see right from the home page, the firmware version is version 1.01.22. Now this might not be the same for everybody. You may not see the firmware version on your modem's homepage once you sign in. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a different way or a different area where this information is listed. And that is under the advanced tab for my modem. So I will navigate to that now. Okay. Now I'm on the advanced page for my modem. You can see right here, hardware version and firmware version. Hardware version is 1.02, firmware version, it's the same thing that it says here in the corner, version 1.01.22, version 1.01.22. So that is how you determine the current version of your modem's firmware. In this case, we need to see, or I guess it's really hard to tell, is this the most recent version of firmware that's been released? And the only way to check that that I've found is to go to your modem manufacturer's website and look at their documentation. They will list the different firmware versions that they've released. So for me, it's going to the Netgear website, then to the support page, and then I found this site that details the firmware versions based upon the model of modem that you have. So let me bring that up now. Okay, so this is the page. It says, what is the latest firmware version of my Netgear cable modem or modem router? 
You cannot manually update your Netgear cable modem or modem router's firmware. Netgear provides your internet service provider with the latest firmware and your ISP updates your firmware. So here is your list based upon the modem, make, and model. And then you have your firmware version based upon your internet service provider. So for me, I have a CM600 modem and my internet service provider is Comcast. So my firmware version on my modem, version 1.01.22 is the latest firmware that's been released for my modem. So in looking at this, and navigating back to my modem settings page, version 1.01.22. At this point, I know my firmware has the newest and latest and greatest version. So at this point, there is no action on my part. If you find that your modem does not have the latest and greatest version of firmware, there are several steps you can take and several recommendations that I have, and those will be detailed in the blog post below that I linked to. At this time, that's all we have for today. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And as I mentioned, check out the blog post that provides a little more information about these steps and about why we need to do this. As always, thanks for joining networkfromhome.com. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks a lot.